Hello friends, welcome to all of you in Dr. Jaggi's Academy. Today I will discuss about the aromatic compound. So in this video we will discuss what is classification of aromatic compound. So when we discuss the aromatic compound, the most simplest aromatic compound is benzene. So in this video we are discuss specially benzene including its structure of benzene and its chemical nature of benzene. So let's start. So in organic chemistry, we deal generally deal with the organic compounds. And organic compounds are of two types. It may be aliphatic compounds or aromatic compounds. Aero aliphatic compounds they refers to alkenes, alkenes, and alkynes. Whereas the aromatic compounds are those compounds that contain especially benzene. And all those compounds that resemble the benzene in the chemical behavior. So depending upon whether the aromatic compound contain benzene or not. So on this basis the aromatic compounds are of two types. The first classification is benzenoid compounds. And second aromatic compounds are non-benzenoid compounds. So what are the benzenoid compounds? Benzenoid compounds are those compounds that contain one or more benzene ring. So we have a few examples of benzene, benzenoid compound. The one is benzene, second one is toluene, third is phenol, fourth one is chlorobenzene. These are the examples of benzenoid compounds that contain one benzene ring. And we have another example of benzenoid compound that contain more than one benzene ring. For example, this is a naphthalene and this is an anthracene. It contain two benzene ring and this contain three benzene rings. So these are the example of benzenoid aromatic compound. The second classification of aromatic compounds are non-benzenoid compounds. So as the name indicate, non-benzenoid compounds are those compounds which don't contain a benzene ring. So we have an example. The first example is cyclohectatrinyl cation. So this is a cyclohectatrinyl cation. It, it is an aromatic compound but it, don't, it does not contain benzene ring. The second example is azonyl. So in this also does not contain benzene ring but it acts as an aromatic compound. And it acts as an aromatic compound so that why it is also called non-benzenoid compound. Next, the study of aromatic compound must begin with the study of the benzene which is the most simplest aromatic compound. So we will discuss the structure of benzene. So benzene having a molecule formula is C6H6. So in the structure of benzene, the six carbon atoms they are joined to each other in the form of ring through alternative single and double bond. The double bond, single bond, again double bond, single bond. When all the six carbon atoms they are joined to each other in a conjugated form, form. and each carbon has a one hydrogen atom. So next we will discuss what is the chemical nature of benzene. So as is experimentally proved that benzene undergoes substitution reaction rather than addition reaction. So that will be discussed. So as we know the substitution reaction they are shown by alkanes saturated compound whereas addition reaction they are shown by the alkenes or alkynes which are unsaturated compound. So we have a few examples of the addition reaction of the alkenes. For example, the addition of bromine to the carbon-carbon double bond means alkene. So when the alkene interact with the bromine, which has orange-red color, so during this reaction, one bromine is added to this carbon and second bromine is added to this carbon and double bond is converted to the single bond. So in this reaction, the, when the bromine they are wrecked with the alkene, then the orange red color of the bromine is discharged. Means orange red color of bromine is converted into a colorless compound. So this reaction is used to test the unsaturation. So when 
we deal with the benzene so as we it is clearly seen that benzene also contain a carbon carbon double bond means it is a unsaturated compound so if this benzene they should also react with the bromine means benzene should show the addition reaction but benzene don't react with the bromine it means it does not decolorize the orange red color of the in spite of the double bond in a benzene benzene does not react with the bromine it means it does not decolorize the orange red color of the bromine so this is the first evidence to show that the benzene does not show addition reaction however the benzene undergoes substitution reaction means it shows substituted compound such as a halogenation so when we react the halogen with the benzene in the presence of ferric chloride so we get a chlorobenzene so chlorobenzene is obtained due to the substitution of hydrogen of the benzene with the chlorine so this is a substituted product it means benzene undergoes substitution reaction means benzene shows substitution reaction second example of substitution reaction of benzene is sulfonation benzene react with the sulfuric acid to form a benzene sulfonic acid third one is nitration so in this case benzene undergo they are react with the nitric acid to form the nitro benzene so these all are reaction show the substitution nature of benzene structure so this is the first proof that benzene don't show addition reaction because it does not decolorize the orange red color of the benzene as is shown by the alkyl molecules or alkyl molecules the second evidence show that a benzene does not undergo addition reaction so alkene as we know that alkene generally they react with the KMnO4 it means alkene when they react with they undergo oxidation to form the this is a ethylene glycol so in this case KMnO4 color, uh, KMn, the color of KMnO4 is pink but after this reaction we get a colorless compound it means due to the reaction of KMnO4 with alkene the pink color of the KMnO4 is discharged so the discharge of pink color show the addition reaction of the alkene means oxidation of alkene with KMnO4 so we are however as we know that benzene also contain a double bond three double bond but in spite of double bond it does not react with the KMnO4 it means this evidence is it means it does not decolorize the pink color okay so we have a two evidence to show that the benzene does not undergo addition reaction rather it undergo substitution reaction so first evidence that benzene does not decolorize the orange red color and second it does not decolorize the kmn color means pink color so now we will this uh, we have discussed the chemical nature of benzene means benzene show the substitution reaction rather than the addition reaction so next i will discuss the chemical structure of the benzene the first structure of benzene was given by the kegul in 1865 so kegul proposed that in which that is uh, we have a six carbon atom all the six carbon atom in benzene they are joined to each other in the form of ring having a single bond and double bond in a alternating manner and each carbon has a one hydrogen so the molecular formula of the benzene is c6h6 but however there are some objection to the kegul structure of the benzene so what are the different objections or we can say that limitation of the kegul structure of the benzene so the first objection to the kegul structure of benzene is the benzene yield according to kegul benzene yield one mono substituted product and two di substituted product so so i have to take the example of di chloro benzene so according to kegul so we get two 
dye substituted for that. This is a 1,2-dichlorobenzene and this is also a 1,2-dichlorobenzene. These are the two isomers of the dichlorobenzene. So, in the first isomer, there is a presence of carbon-carbon double bond between the two carbon atoms having a halogen bond. And in this case, there is a presence of carbon-carbon single bond between the two carbon atoms having the halogen groups. So due to this change in properties, then both these isomers show the different properties. It means according to Kikul, we get two dye substituted product which having a different property. But we get only one substituted dye substituted product. So that is, that is why this Kikul structure is failed. So to, to account it, Kekul proposed that these double bond which are present in an alternative manner with a single bond, they are not at the fixed position. They are oscillating about their position. Means they are a single bond and it means these two isomers, they are show the dynamic equilibrium with each other. So due to the dynamic equilibrium of two isomers, these two isomers can't be separated. So second objection of the Kikul structure is Kikul can't explain that why does the benzene undergo substitution reaction rather than the addition reaction. It means uh, as we have discussed earlier that is the benzene does not react with the bromine or does not react with the KMnO4. It means benzene there show a stability toward the oxidizing agent. In other words we can say that Kikul can't explain the of the benzene toward the oxidizing agent. The third limitation of the Kikul structure is Kekul can't explain the equivalence of carbon-carbon bond length in a benzene. So according to Kikul structure, so in this case we have our two types of bonds. There is a presence of carbon-carbon double bond and carbon-carbon single bond. The bond length of carbon-carbon double bond is 1.57 angstrom whereas, oh sorry, uh, 1.34 angstrom or whereas carbon-carbon single bond bond length is 1.57 angstrom. If the ketone structure is correct, it means the benzene contains two types of bond length. That is the 1.34 angstrom for carbon-carbon double bond and 1.57 for carbon-carbon single bond. But according to X-ray diffraction, that is the benzene contain carbon-carbon, uh, all the bonds in a benzene, they have a equal. It means having a bond length is 1.3, that is a 6 angstrom. It means it, its bond length is lie between the single bond and double bond. So Google can't explain the why does the all the bond length, carbon-carbon bond length in a benzene are equal. So that is why the Google structure is failed. To overcome the objection of the Google structure, resonance theory was proposed. And according to resonance, the, there is a delocalization of the pi electrons. So due to delocalization of pi electrons from their original position, we get two structures of the benzene. And according to resonance, these benzene is considered as a resonance hybrid of these two structures. So due to resonance, all the six pi electrons, they are delocalized over the six carbon atom. So due to delocalization, that uh, due to delocalization of pi electron, it makes the benzene molecule more stable. It, it increases the stability of benzene molecule. So, second point is due to delocalization of pi electron, all the carbon carbon bond length are equal, and that lies between the single and double bond. And the, however, the magnitude of the stability of the benzene is expressed in terms of resonance energy. So as we discussed earlier that uh, the resonance structure of benzene explains its stability. So now the second structure, third structure, orbital structure of benzene also explains the stability of, 
explain the stability of benzene molecule. So according to the orbital theory, molecular orbital theory, so we have a benzene in which the each carbon they are linked with the other six carbon atom in the form of ring. So we have a six C six having electronic configuration is one S two, two S two, two P two. So as we know that outermost electron they are always in one in a bonding so we have a outermost shell this is a 2s2 and 2p2 so we have a 2s2 having two electron and 2p2 so in excited state so carbon they are one of the 2s carbon is jumped to the 2p orbital so after the excitation so we get electronic configuration this is a one of the two electron jump to the 2p orbital so after the excitation, as we know that in a benzene, the each carbon form three sigma bond. So we require that is the three orbitals of carbon. So due to the requirement of three orbital, the carbon undergo sp2 hybridization. So due to sp2 hybridization, we get three sp2 hybrid orbitals of carbon so these are two sp2 hybrid orbitals of carbon and one orbital that is 2pz they remain unhybridized so as we know again sp2 hybrid orbital adopt that is the triangular planar shape So this is a triangular planar shape. So each carbon they have a three orbitals which are adopt the triangular planar shape. So this we have a benzene. So each carbon has three sp2 hybrid orbitals and each carbon each as uh, uh, sp2 hybrid orbital of each carbon they form a two sigma bond with another carbon. Whereas the one sp2 hybrid orbital of carbon, they form a sigma bond with a 1s orbital of hydrogen. So after this overlapping, each carbon they has also contain un one unhybridized orbital. So this is a structure that shows the unhybridized orbital of each carbon. And these unhybridized orbital, they are parallel to each other as well as perpendicular to the carbon-carbon sigma bond. So this is the carbon-carbon sigma bond. They are parallel to each other and perpendicular to carbon-carbon sigma bond. So these two, uh, these pi orbital, this so 2pz unhybridized orbital, they are very close to end up from the sidewise overlapping. As a result, there is a formation of pi bond. So we have a two ways of overlapping of two unhybridized orbital. Either they are these two orbital get unhybridized by sidewise overlapping. As a result, these two over, uh, two orbital overlap to form pi bond. Again, there is a formation of pi bond between these two orbital. So second way is instead of these two orbital, they undergo sidewise overlapping. These two orbitals they are a sidewise overlapping. As a result, this is a double bond again single. Again, these two orbitals they undergo sidewise overlapping to form a pi bond. Here there is a carbon-carbon single bond. Again, they are a double bond. So it is clear that there is a, a possibility of overlapping of all the 2pz unhybridized orbital which are lie above the plane as well as below the plane. So due to the sidewise overlapping, so we get a structure means all the p orbital they are overlap sidewise. So due to equal sidewise overlapping between the all the these orbital, we get a downward shape of pi electron cloud which lie above the plane of the benzene ring as well as below the benzene ring. So due to delocalization of the pi electron it will increase the stability of the benzene structure. So benzene, they are become more stable due to with the help of resonance theory as well as a molecular orbital theory.